In previous tutorials, we learned how to create a team and add in the roster. Now that everything is set up, let's record our first stats. First, switch to your schedule by tapping the icon on the bottom of the screen. Then, add a new game by tapping the plus icon at the top of the screen. After saving, tap the match to open the match screen. Everything about this match lives here. To start recording stats for the first set, tap Record Stats. Your lineup will automatically be set from when you used the app last. If you don't see your lineup on the screen, tap the pencil icon to set one now. If there is a substitution at any point in the match, you will use this same screen to make the sub. Recording stats is simple and requires only two taps. First, tap the player you are recording a stat for. Then, tap the stat. Optionally, you can track locations for attacking and serving stats. These locations are used to build shot charts, which can be helpful to discover hitting and serving tendencies over time. If you don't need this feature, you can turn it off in the Team Settings section. Because Stat Together allows multiple people to take stats at once, each person can choose the stats they are responsible for. For now, I'm going to be in charge of attacking and defense. My team manager will be responsible for the other three categories. After you select your categories, they will stay selected to speed up the stat taking process. If at any time you make a mistake, you can quickly hit the Undo button to remove the last recorded stat. Stats can also be fixed after the match is completed in the View Stats section by tapping the pencil icon. With Stat Together, everything happens in real time. If I tap View Stats, I can see that any stat changes made by other team managers show up immediately. This is great for coaches who want to get a quick glance at the stats between sets or during a timeout while other managers are recording stats. You can view your stats by set, by match, or even view stats for your entire season. Match stats can be exported as Excel file or to Max Preps, and you can even choose to omit some stat categories if you don't need them. Now that you've learned how to record and view stats, watch our next tutorial on how easy it is to livestream your games. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider subscribing so you'll get updates when we post more videos in the future.